If you want to make super tiny flying geese, like this unit that finishes at one inch by two inches, then I recommend the easiest ever method for making flying geese. This is sometimes also called the stitch and flip method. So it involves taking a rectangle, adding a square to the side, stitching in the diagonal, and then you trim off the extra and press it back and repeat with the square on the other side. So the scraps that you have left over are really small because the pieces are really small. And so in this size of a project, that's not a lot of extra waste. I recommend it with small pieces like this because with tiny pieces, it gets more difficult to get a totally accurate seam allowance. And this alleviates that problem. You can check out a full tutorial for this method and a bunch of other method for making flying geese. And for more quilting tips and tutorials, be sure to follow Evita Studio. Mm -hmm.